Hello, my name is Ian Houston. I'm the development chair at the Dacor Bacon House. This is an extraordinary property. Two blocks from the White House, the house was completed by skilled but often unsung workers in 1825 for Tench Ringhold with additions over time. We owe them our gratitude. It is an historic national treasure that serves as a living testament to America's political, cultural, and diplomatic heritage. Eight presidents have visited or stayed at the house, including James Monroe and Abraham Lincoln, two U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justices and an Associate Justice lived in the house, John Marshall, Melville Fuller, and Joseph Story. Key national, international, legal, cultural, musical figures have discussed key issues and performed uplifting music in the home. Sally and William Carroll, William, who was a clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court, owned the house from 1836 to 1895. They were close personal friends of President and Mrs. Lincoln and their children. When tragedy struck the Lincoln family, and their son Willie died of typhoid at the age of 11 years old. The Carrolls grieved with the Lincolns. It is said that Lincoln came to the house to have some privacy and mourning for his beloved son. The friendship was so close with the Carrolls that the Carrolls touchingly offered their family vault at Oak Hill in Georgetown for Willie. Willie was interred there for three years, later being reinterred near his father at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois, after President Lincoln's death. Virginia Murray Bacon was the last private owner of the house. She generously bequeathed it to the Dacor Bacon Foundation. She was a great supporter of the arts, and she wished for the house to be a meeting place to facilitate international peace and understanding by bringing together leaders in the fields of foreign policy and international relations and law for the purpose of defining and resolving international problems. This is precisely what DACOR is doing, and we are honoring the past with an eye to the future. Maintaining the property and keeping it modern is essential. Of course, doing so requires significant resources Together we can be good stewards of this historic treasure of a house. We need your support and continued support, and we are and would be grateful for it. Thank you very much.